my name is Kenny Muir. I'm a Yoda Yoda Aaron Jerry man. As you can see, I'm a huge, massive nerd. Um, I grew up on Batman, comic books, uh, you know, got a healthy dose of Star Wars tucked in. But I'm also the Australian director of Indigenous Comic Con and creator of the Indigenous uh, Pop Culture Company. It's a major event that's made up of several other smaller events. The only difference with this one really is that it's shining a light on Indigenous creativity. Indigenous comic book characters, they've always been, I don't think it's only restricted to Indigenous comic book characters. I think it's any character of colour within the comic book world has, have previously been developed under, I guess, a lot of tropes and misconceptions about that particular culture. I think now it's changing where we're seeing a lot of more diverse creativity coming into these spaces. You know, we've got uh, people like Taika Waititi, uh, who's spearheading some pre pretty major films mm. in uh, in this sort of space that that's bringing. Um, a much more diverse perspective on storytelling and narrative driving, which is, I think, something us as the fa fandom have been screaming out for. With bringing across um, Indigenous Comic Con to Australia, it was so new to so many people. For myself, I found a lot of hurdles trying to get it up get it delivered, get it supported. There were a lot of people who weren't sure how to approach this platform. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that affected like, sponsorship, yeah. for example. A lot of people thinking, well, I, we don't know what this is. It's never been held before. In Australia, in America, it's it's a great success, but that's a different structure. Like when I first had this thought, I thought, oh, it'll be so simple. You know, everyone will want to support it. I was even looking at like the um, Melbourne Convention Center for it to be held at, because I was thinking, oh, we'll get all these vendors and all these amazing celebrities coming in but it turned out to be more of a convention um, for the community it was held at the Darabin Arts and Entertainment Centre you know right right in the heart of Preston Northcote where I grew up I love that area had some amazing people turn up and I think that gave it more of a community vibe that yeah. we're all on this journey together. You know, at the time it was cool when I opened the doors and saw the lines and cosplayers coming in. It was amazing. So my name is Chelsea Shepherd. I am 20 years old um, and I'm very obviously a cosplayer and a nerd. Hi, I'm Ash. <laughs> Uh, it's been approximately 463 days since my last convention. <laughs> um, yeah, man, uh, this, I am me. I am uh, a cosplayer, uh, a bit of a geek. Hi, I'm Nathan. Um, I'm a cosplayer. I've been cosplaying for, Jesus, a long time now. Probably like, I think my first cosplay I did for the Melbourne Zombie Shuffle, like back in 2008. I went to my first convention, I think in 2013 maybe even earlier than that. Mm. Um, and I saw all the people walking around in costumes and I thought, that's really awesome. Like, what is that called? How do I do that? Yeah, when I was a kid, I was, uh, you know, play like Super Mario on the, on, the, on the NES system at home. And uh, 
you know, to sort of progress to, you know, bigger, better games. And then I knew from games come comics, you know, I became a very avid reader. And then, you know, I was like, oh, hey, this is really cool. I think a bunch of friends were going to either Armageddon or Supernova. And I was like, yeah, I'll come along to that. And they're like, oh, were you joking? Cosplay. I was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> so ended up going as um, Arkham Origin, Origins Joker. And that was my first con, I reckon. I think a Digicon should be as big as Oz Comic Con. I think it should take up the most of the convention center, if I'm being honest, because if you think of the amount of the population that is Indigenous and the amount of that Indigenous population that is nerdy and has an affinity for pop culture is huge. It is massive. I attended the first one at the Devon Arts Center. Nice vibe about the place, like really, really inclusive. Had some really cool guests. One of my favorite artists, Dean Rankin. Oh, he's so good. Um, and yeah, sick little cosplay competitions and a whole like area where you could play arcade games. Every convention should have its own following. So it should have its own uh, level ground with all the other conventions. That by, by, by definition, a, a comic convention is normally the uh, the outsiders, the outcasts that all get together. Uh, and, and it's that lack of sort of, um, lack of diversity that uh, that we don't see that would be you know, really, really standard in an indigenous convention. I think it would be great. I would love for vendors and storeholders to be more open and for it to be so much more acceptable to have Indigenous community, any other community, honestly, and just have it be more accepting and open. You know, you've, you've got the same same vendors that are selling the same mass-produced stuff uh, next to three different paintball uh, stalls at a convention. And, and you think, well, I didn't come here to sign up for paintball. I, I came here to enjoy my, my, my culture, my geekdom, and it's not here. At the end of the day, we're all nerds. At the Like, literally, at the end of the day, we're all doing this because we love pop culture, the colour of our skin, how we were raised, where we were raised, where we were born, anything shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter who's underneath the mask of any of those co costumes. Like that's the entire purpose of Spider-Man. From Stan Lee's lips himself, it could be anyone under that mask. That's the idea of the character.